What is going on everybody? It is the Walkthrough King. Firebase Z's Easter Egg has now been completed and here we have a really fast, easy, quick guide on completing this Easter Egg so you guys could go ahead and do this yourself. If you guys are new here, definitely recommend subscribing and joining our amazing community. And if you guys got some help from this Easter Egg guide and want to support the channel, a like on this video would be appreciated. This year is going to be a crazy one. We are trying to hit 100k. I believe we could do it, but anyways, let's get right into this guide. So first things first, you're going to want to activate the power. And once you do, return to Revanov and talk to him. Once you've talked to Revanov, go ahead and return and talk to Dr. Peck. And there will be a short audio dialogue you got to listen to. Then once again, go back and talk to Revanov. This time when you talk to Revanov, you're going to be given a key card. Grab this key card, and then we can move on to the next step. From here, there are three different cabinets we need to go and open with the key card to get different serums. The first one could be found at spawn. The second one can be found in the colonel's office. And the final can be found in the engineering room shown. Now that you have all three serums, go ahead to the medical bay and place them inside of the mixing machine. A bunch of hellhounds are going to spawn in. Just go ahead and take them out. And then go ahead and transfer the mixed serum into the device. Once you have transferred the mixed serum into the device, you can go ahead and pick up the device with the mixed serum. From here, we are going to go to the air vent that is to the left of the giant dome if you are looking at the entrance and go ahead and place the device down. Next, you need to go over back to Dr. Peck and talk to him a couple of times. You may have to trigger his audio a couple of times, as I said. He's going to get up and start dancing and do various different things and talk about different things. However, after he finally gets to the point, he's going to talk about a portal that we need to open. This is when we can move on to the next step. From here, you're going to want to go into the data center up to the computer that I'm showing. And we need to pick up an essence trap. Now for this step, it is a bit tricky and I'm not sure the easiest method yet to get this. So stay tuned to the description as once we do figure out an easy way to replicate and do this very, very fast, then I'll have that posted in the description. For now, so you guys can get this done right away, the way we completed this was you need to get mimics down to basically one shot, throw the essence trap down and then suck up the mimic into the essence trap once it has been captured. Go ahead and take it back to the computer where we got the essence trap from and upload the data to that computer oh, you are going so to need three buzzy. specific memories that you could see one this. is from brams one is from sokolov and the other is from zabin and once you have all three of those you'll be able to move on to the next step i'm not sure if it is location based for where you have to pick up these mimics from yeah, but the locations those. that we got the confirmed memories that you needed from were at peck's room all the way back at spawn the other was at the motor pool and the third that we got was in the colonel's office i have seen other people get the proper ones from different locations though so like i said just be staying tuned into the description if you really cannot get this from the mimics and i might have an updated method in the future but for now you need to trap mimics with the essence trap again you need to have them down to one shot otherwise they'll just break free out of the essence trap and it will break so you have to go get another get them down to one shot suck them up into the essence trap go and download the data into the computer and you'll know if you have the right one if it is again brams sokolov and zabin you need all three of those to move on to the next step and once you do then we could do as follow as you've seen once i got the last one which was zavin right there i picked up a floppy disk out of the computer go ahead and grab that just like i did from there take the floppy disk and go into the planning offices and insert it into the computer shown from here the dome is going to open up just go ahead and go inside of that and you'll see a orb spawns in this will trigger the next stage of events just wait for all of the dialogue to play through and then you can go on to the next step from here, just go and talk to Dr. Peck again, and it will activate a bit more dialogue. After this dialogue is done playing through, you'll get a code. Enter the code in the locker to the left of Dr. Peck's office, and you'll get an ether meter. Go ahead and pick this up. Next, go into the scorched defense area in the left bunker. Go ahead and pick up the shovel that's next to a box. For the next step, you are going to need the wonder weapon for this. You can either get this for free from the box or completing trials, or you can build this wonder weapon. A build guide will be in the description. Once you have the wonder weapon, go and look for a dig spot for an ether crystal. 
It will be in various places around the map. This is one of these spots that I had shown. Once we have a list of all the locations, I'll have that in the description as well. Go ahead and dig up that crystal. Once it is dug up, it will move to somewhere else on the map. And when it does move to somewhere else on the map, you need to go and find that, but don't go right up next to it. You need to shoot it with the, the alternate ammo type on the wonder weapon, and then you can go and pick it up. If you do just go and try and pick it up without shooting it with the wonder weapon, then it will end up disappearing and you'll have to do this again. Once you have the first one, then you are going to be looking around for another dig spot for another ether container. Once you find it and you start digging it up, it will start a wave defense that you need to stay in the circle area. And you need to have all your teammates in there too, otherwise they'll end up dying outside of that zone. Go ahead and just survive for a little bit of time inside of this green circle. It will get smaller over time as well, so just be aware of that. And once you have stayed in it long enough, it will end this wave defense round and you can go ahead and pick it up. Once you have the second canister, go ahead and head over to the open lot and search around for a third dig spot. And once you find that, go ahead and dig it up. This time it will spawn in a ton of different canisters and you need to inspect each canister very carefully and look for the one that does not have any black smoke in it. As shown, the first canister that I walked up to and I'm looking at right now does not have any black smoke. That's what you need to pick up. And as I'm showing and going around to the other ones, those are the ones with black smoke and that's what it looks like. Do not pick up the one with black smoke otherwise you'll have to repeat this step on the next round when you do find the one that just has all of the pure smoke and there is no black smoke in it go ahead and pick it up and we can move on to the next step for the next step, when you have all three canisters, you are going to go and place each one of the three canisters in the ether reactors that you turned on initially in order to get power running at this place. So just go up to all three, place a canister in each one, and you'll be ready for the next step. When you have placed the three canisters, just make your way back up to the dome. There will be a little bit of dialogue and then the orb will end up disappearing and we can move on to the next step. From here, you are going to want to prepare for the boss fight as once you do the next step, you are going to be sent into the boss fight itself. So make sure you are ready to go into the boss fight before you do this next step. Otherwise, you might have a bad time in the boss fight. Once you are ready for the boss fight, go ahead and go into the planning offices and there will be a computer that you can interact with as shown. You're going to want to move the little dot that you can control with the D-pad or the controls shown on screen if you're on PC. And find the yellow dot that has a question mark for the satellite location. And then go ahead and select that as the satellite that you want to use. You will then get a bit of dialogue and you'll get to see a cool little animation of the satellites aligning. Once that is over with, it will direct you to go back into the dome and interact with the computer. Go ahead and do that and you'll be shown a cool little cutscene where Samantha Maxis is then saved and comes out of the portal. Then you'll get to see the boss actually come into the map. Once that is shown and the cutscene is over with, you'll be in the boss fight. For this boss fight, you just kind of want to stay back as if you are right up next to Orda. He will basically slam and kill you with one shot. So just stay far enough away from him and just keep firing on him and shooting him until you basically kill him and get all of his health drained. Once you do that, you'll have defeated the boss and you'll be ready to watch the Easter egg ending cutscene. After the cutscene is over with, then you'll be sent back to the main menu and congratulations, you have completed the Firebase Z Easter egg. I'll have linked in the description both cutscenes in case you guys want to just watch those right away. Anyways, I hope this guide helped you. I'm taking off for now. Again, if you guys are new here, definitely recommend subscribing. I'll be posting fast guides as soon as new things are solved. Anyways, this has been the Walkthrough King, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Peace! Peace.